Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tarvi here, and in this video, we will look at Astonity UI. Astonity UI is a collection of React components that are very cool, and which you can just copy paste in your React apps. So you do not need to install any kind of packages uh, for this specific uh, components or anything like that. You can just simply copy paste the codes in your code base. There might be some packages that you need to install that might be dependencies for some kind of animations and stuff. But usually for just for having the components, you do not need to install any kind of packages. You can simply copy paste the code. It's pretty much inspired by Shad CN UI, except in Shad CN UI, you also have a terminal command which you can use to copy paste the code. But here I haven't found any com uh, command to do that. But I think it's still pretty amazing for each component. It gives you steps to add that component into your react project. And before you think that this is just an another UI collection, let me tell you, these components are beautiful. I'm telling you, if you haven't heard about Astonity UI yet, you are missing out on a lot. These components are very beautiful. Okay. Uh, don't take my word. I'm just going to show you. Okay. Let's go ahead and show you the screen. By the way, this video is not sponsored. So this is just me. Uh, reviewing this UI kit, which my brother suggested to me a long time ago, and I forgot to make a video on this. So this says make your website looks look 10 X beautiful and 10 X modern. It just uh, changes awesome modern, whatever. And uh, yeah, copy paste the most trending components and use them in your websites without having to worry about styling and animations. And there's a lot of different things that are uh, Twitter posts about this, but look at this. It says beautify your website within minutes. Now look at this. If I hover over it, it does this these are cool like you don't see these kinds of stuff every day and like whenever you see you do not have the source code for it right and you this is open source you can simply just copy paste it in your code base and nobody will have a problem with it and even this like uh, you you have uh, uh, this you can you simply use this for like who are online on a specific file just like in figma uh, when you are uh, using Figma in a collaborative mode, you can see who else is viewing the file at the same time. You can implement this and this has some really good animations. And uh, yeah, uh, even at the hover thing. So if, if I hover on this, the lights glow and it looks pretty cool. <laughs> and here there is a custom uh, cursor, I should say. Yeah, and there is a tooltip for it. Uh, again, it might be very useful for documents or uh, something like Figma clone. Uh, yeah. So there are two options. Uh, first is browse components and second is custom components. So there is only one person, I guess, uh, one main person behind Astonity UI. There might be some other open source contributors, but uh, the one person uh, can make you custom components if you want to. And that person is Manu Arora. I wanted to go ahead and give him a follow. Uh, I am using my YouTube one. So uh, this doesn't show that I am following him, but I am following him with my Twitter account. So just go ahead and follow him. Just a great developer. So yeah, now let's look at browse components. Now these are all the components that you can use. So if you want to request a component, you can do this here. So this is just a discord server link. I highly recommend to join this. Okay, so there are a lot of new ones. So anyone with the label of new is a pretty new uh, component. So okay, if, what if we look at something like, um, okay, let's open, I'm gonna open GitHub globe. Let's see what this is. We sell so provide the globe is interactive and customizable. Oh, so it has a complete globe, which you can just rotate and whatever. And you can simply add this into your react project and the steps are below like if you just go here you need to install all of these things you just need to have a utility file which you need to create and uh anywhere basically but uh, you just need to change the paths if you choose to do it anywhere else and yeah uh, this is made for basically next.js so if you are like using next.js so you need to use client but if you are not using if you're only using client side uh, frameworks it's fine uh so yeah these are all of the stuff you can add as props there are a lot of different things. Uh, we haven't even went into the coding part yet. Uh, there are a lot of things even I haven't checked it out. So I think uh, we should first check stuff out. So if we go on 3D pin. Yeah, the, 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 I, I don't even need to explain to you guys. This is just awesome. <laughs> so if we go on like something Aurora background. Yeah, there's uh, <laughs> I don't have any words to say. Like uh, if I start like uh, praising him at one point my praise is going to just run out and i'll be like yeah this is just expected by him at this point <laughs> anyways 
let's look out a few more and then we can move ahead so oh yeah this 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 looks good so if there are any kind of like projects you want to build i think this is a perfect ui kit just use them and like i think they are a very good touch even though recruiters might know that this is already being used from some other ui kit i think this would be a very good touch um yeah so let's look at something like i want to show you the multi-step loader this is also good so like if you're using some kind of you're creating some kind of full stack app you can use this kind of loading i think this looks pretty cool i don't know about you i think this looks pretty cool <laughs> not gonna lie okay so enough of uh checking all of these things one last before we go this looks good i just wanted to show you this i was for searching this for very long but yeah enough of showcasing the components i'll leave the link in the description go ahead and um, see what are the components there are a lot of cool components just um, try and see which one you want to use now we will go ahead and try to use these in our next js application all right so i'm going to create a next js application in front of you so i'm just going to do bun x create next app and i'm going to name it uh, I'm just gonna name it Estonity UI. Estonity UI demo should be a good name. All right, perfect. Now it should ask us a few questions. <laughs> TypeScript, yeah. Uh, ESLint, sure. Tailwind, yes, because uh, it's pretty easy to style, and I have seen that he also uses Tailwind, so it's good to have Tailwind. Uh, would you like to use SS directory? No. Uh, App router, yes. Uh, import alias, no let's just install this and let's just get started should not take a lot of time i'm using bun so let's wait for this all right now that is done we can just go to cd ace unit ui demo and now i'm going to do ls and i'm going to do code dot to open vs code here yeah my vs code doesn't work well nowadays oh it's updating okay all right can we open vs code please yeah perfect okay in the app directory uh, first of all we need to go ahead and see what it really wants so i'm just gonna go ahead and put it into a new desktop so that it's easier to switch and now uh, we can just go ahead and see what other things we need to do so we can just go ahead and first we need to install all of this so i'm just gonna copy this and instead of npm we are just gonna use bun so i'm just gonna do uh, paste here and i'm just gonna rename this to bun i would really appreciate if there were commands for bun 2 to be completely honest but i think it's really not that important i can simply just do an i so yeah uh, it should not take a lot of time uh, should be installed pretty quickly and we should be able to move on with the next step so okay while that's installing we need to create a utility file so i need to create a utils folder and create a cn.ts file so i'm just gonna copy this I'm just gonna go back here. I'm just gonna have a new. Uh, should I have? Okay, I'm just gonna have it here. Utils. And here we are gonna have cn. Dot ts. I'm gonna paste the contents here. Perfect. Now we are gonna go back and see what's next. We need to copy this actual component now. So we can go back here, and now I'm gonna have a new components folder. And I'm just gonna have what was the name file? Uh, sparkles.tsx. Okay. Oops. Can we create a new file? Yeah. Sparkles.tsx. Perfect. Now we can just go ahead and paste it here. Perfect. It's a long file. Like you can see, it's a, it's a pretty long file. <laughs> uh, yeah. My VS Code is struggling right now. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna save this and now we can simply use this but what i'm going to do is instead of like using a lot of time they have examples here so i can simply go ahead and grab one of these examples but first of all i want to grab this example so i'm just gonna copy the entire code and in uh, page.tsx i'm gonna replace the entire thing with this uh, and let's see what happens um, something is wrong oh yeah we need to have a components folder because we have uh, components here perfect now it should work uh, we need to start the dev server i'm just gonna go ahead and do uh, bun dev and i'm gonna go to localhost 3000 damn i hate edge <laughs> okay 
let's wait <laughs> should not take a lot of time hopefully i'm gonna pause the video oh okay the default export is not a react component in page okay um export yeah we can we can do this we can ex do this export default my bad i cannot type <laughs> okay i think i think this should work yeah yeah it's working it's working guys <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's working so yeah the basically uh, this uh, asternity text is not a part of the sparkle component it's made it's made so that the sparkles appear below asternity so they uh, so he has done some kind of uh, radial gradients and stuff and uh, uh, that's how it's working but if we look at the another example uh, in the sparkles page we go ahead and uh, go in the example this one has a f sparkle f full page so if we go ahead and click on the code and if we copy it if we go back and paste it here uh, we should uh, i'm just gonna have export default here again and we are gonna have components perfect i'm gonna save it uh, let's go back yeah it's pretty much the entire page uh, yeah so i think these components are pretty cool for you to use like they can easily make you stand out like if you are making projects to apply for jobs these can easily make you stand out like there would be some recruiters who already know about this uh, you cannot do anything about it uh, like even if they know uh, if you are like using these components i think these might be pretty good like not everything needs to be handwritten by you unless it's a requirement for them as a project that uh, if they have some kind of task for you you need to have some everything by your own don't use this uh, it would get you in trouble but like in your personal projects which you are developing in free time i think these this is perfect for you to use it's it's going to save you a lot of time and it's going to make your websites look beautiful so that's my advice go ahead and use it a um, lot of different components uh, i have showed them to you and i have also shown you basically how you can use this uh, if you want to look at the props for the components like uh, there are some kind of props so for sparkle codes there's min size max size particle density uh, which you can increase by the way so i can simply have it like 500 i don't know if this will work or not let's check it out um yeah it, it's too much uh, I, I i i really hope my macbook doesn't die because of this but yeah <laughs> and uh yeah you can uh, do a lot of different things i can change this to something else so what if i do uh okay i need to find color code so color picker uh let's choose some kind of blue color i guess and i'm just gonna have copy this and uh, let's paste this here um perfect and let's see if this changes or not yeah uh yeah pretty good what you could do here is like if you want um if you want to have different um Mm, colors in the sparkle you could simply overlay these sparkles and you can adjust the density accordingly how much you want it and you can have different colors and um, i don't know uh, it might work it might not work <laughs> I, I my guess is that it would work you could definitely try doing that um, so yeah that's it for this video if you like this video make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button and if you have some kind of feedback or any kind of question make sure you leave that in the comments section below if you have some kind of any suggestions like any kind of content suggestion you want me to some topic you want me to cover make sure you leave that in the comment section as well or even you can reach out to me on my socials in the description that would work as well uh, i know i have been gone for for a month i ha i was busy in a family wedding and now i am shifted to a different place and soon i have to shift to a different place again so yeah wish me luck for that uh, so yeah that's the reason i was not publishing but i hope that i schedule videos now beforehand before uh, i go anywhere so uh, yeah wish me luck so yeah that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one bye